Hello everyone, Merry Christmas. Today we are building a chicken coop, which is uh, something I picked up. It's a pretty fab thing, but I gotta put it together because Lauren and I are planning on getting some chickens. I'll set you guys down and you can watch me do it all in fast forward because I'm gonna be terrible at this.
All right, we're gonna take a quick once around of the coop because after this we put the lids on. So that's the um, box where they'll do their egg laying. Then in here is their little coopy coop and that door will open there on the left and then they'll get all of this area underneath. We just gotta figure out where we're gonna put it. All right, let's put on the tops, screw them down, and it's done. Here we go, we have a chicken coop. I still need to put the last piece in, which is the ramp for the chickens, but I'll do that once we put it in its place. Because I don't want the ramp sort of flopping around and all that kind of stuff. Um, but otherwise, we'll uh, figure out where we're gonna put it. I'll show you guys once it's all in place. And uh, we'll get some chickens, and then we'll show you the chickens. Have a good day, guys. Morning, guys. We have our chicken coop in the place where it's gonna go. So, it's uh, just by uh, the tab that's above our house where I've got some gardens laid out and the chicken coop's going to be here. I put in the, I'm not sure if you can see it, but in there I put in the ramp so that they can get in and out of the coop. But we have a plan to uh, set up an extra run on this coop so that we can have a few extra chickens uh, in the coop and they have a little bit more space to get around and eat the grass and everything. So we're going all the way out the back today. We've got an old uh, tomato trellis that I need to grab my whippersnipper and cut up the grass so that I can see what I'm doing because some of it seems to be just buried in the grass. Uh, and then we'll try and move that. But we're picking up the chickens this afternoon. Uh, we're getting three of them and you guys can see as we put them into the coop. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Uh, so we can cut down the grass with the whippersnipper. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news, as you can see behind me, we've done a bunch of whippersnipping. Of the tomato trellis, which I'm standing in front, I'll show you guys a bit of a uh, better view in a second. Done all the whippersnipping, the bad news, I didn't record any of it, sorry. Um, Let's switch over and I'll show you guys what it looks like now and show you or tell you what I did so that uh, we can get into it. Alright, I moved back just a little bit so you can see the whole trellis. 
This is uh, what used to be, or we're told, was a tomato trellis, which I fully believe it makes sense. Um, before now, if we have a look down a little bit where I've whippersnipped everything, all of this was super, super deep grass. If I spin around, you can actually see all of the grass was the same length that you see here. Um, so I've whippersnipped into it, exposed all of the, as you can see, there's some wire down there, all of that. So I can actually see where it's being held up when we try and flip it over and move it and everything. Uh, until now, the grass was, you know, this long or whatever, so I couldn't really get into it. I couldn't see what was happening. And this we're going to move to uh, be another extra little space for the chickens to run. So we'll lay it down on the side. I'm standing in a big open area at the moment. We'll lay it down on the side, fix up things like, you know, there's a hole uh, in the wire over there. So fix up all of that with some chicken wire we've got laying around the property. Uh, tie down, you know, bits that I've accidentally twisted up with the whippersnipper as we're going around. Um, but once that's done, we can lay it down, attach it to the coop that we have, and they will have a whole bunch more space to range a little bit. And we can then uh, increase the number of chickens we've got. I think we're going to get three this afternoon, and we should be able to get four with the extra space that they'll have, and that'll fill up the coop that they have. And then long-term project I've got is to build a much larger coop so that we can have between six and ten and all that kind of stuff. But that's going to take a little bit longer. I need to get all the materials and build that from scratch, which you guys will get to see me do in the future. But until then, this is sort of our hacky put together what we've got on the property for now. And then since we're out here, uh, my whippersnipper is just laying in the grass there. It's uh, cooled down now, so it's not going to catch fire to anything. I was watching and monitoring to make sure I didn't catch the grass on fire, of course. But if we come around here, this is ultimately where the goats are going to be, where I'm walking at the moment. But over here is a bit of a shelter type deal. And you can see there's sort of some wire. So I need to probably clean this up. The, the four posts look good to me. They're solidly in the ground. But as you can see, there's, uh, you know, the beams at the top need to be replaced uh, and I'll re or put the, the roofing back down and everything and that'll be a little bit of a, a shady spot or a sheltered area for the goats uh, because they'll have this whole paddock uh, once we get them and fix up all the fencing but that's it for now I will see you guys this afternoon when we bring the chickens home Hey guys happy New Year's Eve it is the 31st today at uh, almost 11 o'clock in the morning and I thought I would give you guys a quick update on the chicken situation because we didn't get our chickens yesterday um, we did drop by our neighbor lovely people and um, they let us sort of discuss with them how many we were gonna get and which ones and all that kind of stuff and then they were gonna catch them for us during the night but at the moment it's a full moon uh, which means that uh, unfortunately, the chickens were a little bit more aware and there was some trouble catching them. But I did want to show you guys what we did yesterday to update the coop for them because you saw the little coop and everything. Uh, yesterday, uh, Lauren, my father and I, we brought an old tomato trellis out to give them a larger run and everything. And we tried to fix it up a little bit so that they're safe and Cajun and everything but we got it all the way up the top so what I'll do I'll show you how from the how far from the house we are and what we've done all right so we're just up on the the road above the house here or the drive above the house if we spin around uh, just over there uh, where the road starts to bend is where our gardens are up here uh, the next set of gardens that uh, Hopefully I'll get to and finish filling full of dirt and everything so that we can use them. And then we have the coop and the area within that they've got for a bit of a run. So we brought this large, well, it was being used as a, a tomato trellis, but we brought that up, uh, fixed it up. We've got a, a waterer hanging from the top of it. Lauren braided some yarn so that, that can hang and I clearly need to make sure that that water is full enough for when they come in uh, and then what we'll do if I come around here and if we bend down here you might not be able to see it super well but on the other side there hopefully you can see we've cut away 
the entrance so that they can come down the little ramp there and go straight through into the larger area that they'll have and I need to set up a feed box uh, and long term as well to make it easier to sort of fix up the water and everything because that's going to be a bit of a pain to pull off with the braided cord uh, I'll get some chain, a couple of S-hooks uh, and hang both the water that they've got there and I'll have another chain with their feeder uh, that'll hang off to the side of it yeah that's their setup hopefully we'll have chickens in a couple days and like I promised you guys will see as we introduce them but uh, with the full moon they were proving a little bit difficult to catch <laughs> 